and welcome back to MH76 Gaming. My name is Morgan, and this is Astroneer. Uh, it's out of early access. I think it's version 1.1.2, and we are just going to run through the tutorial and uh, yeah, just have a quick look. And we'll probably dive into it more a little later, but for this one, it's just going to be straight through the tutorial. So let's get cracking. Little pods launching. Looks like we took a hit. And we've crash landed. So I'm using the Xbox 360 pad on the PC for this one. I think it's probably less, uh, uh, probably more suited to that, I think, than keyboard and mouse, but we'll see how we go. Look at the red button. Okay, so this is our crash dropship. That's us. Let's exit. Okay. The standard right stick for camera, left stick to walk around. Wrecked rover. Debris. Approach to tether to the rover's oxygenator. So wherever we go, we've got this little tether line, which gives us oxygen. And that's got a certain range it extends to, and then it disappears, and we're suffocating because... You can see at the top of our tank there, it's actually leaking oxygen because it's damaged, so... We need to get over and re-tether to the next object before we run out of air. Run, little astronaut, run. Okay, and we're tethered. Now that all happens automatically with those uh, oxygenators. As soon as he's close, uh, within range, his little suit will tether. So now we have to approach the tether to interact with it, which is down here. LT enables the cursor. Oops. Right trigger picks it up. We run back. And we need to place, place it here. And you can see from the blue line that it's going back to the oxygenator, which means it's in range of that oxygenator there. So we place it there, and that's hooked us up nicely. So the next one's already in range now. So we can head down here, you don't have to worry about, it'll just go through trees and things, don't worry about clipping. And there's another one over here we'll need to grab and set up. Let's right trigger on that, and we might as well put it as far forward as we can while it's still going to tether back. So we'll pop it over here. Oops, or we'll just drop it there. This one here again, we'll put it down here. And we're trying to get over to there, so we'll grab another one. Oops. The, ah, oh, okay. Just trying to work out the control, the, uh, the right stick is not inverted, but I've got the camera stick inverted, so. And when we've got that up, we can't actually move the camera because that's in cursor mode. So that's what the problem is. So we couldn't look back down. That's okay, just weirded me out for a minute, but we'll get used to the controls, no doubt. So as you can see, it's an interesting... Uh, Simplistic art style, but it's um, still very detailed and interesting, as you'd expect from alien planets, I guess. Okay, here's a discarded backpack, so hold Y to swap the tanks, and that will repair our oxygen tank. So the little bar fills up while we're tethered, and then as we leave the tether, Okay, so we've also got a moonlight here, so we grab that. And Y to store it in the backpack. There it is up on top. Mm. 
Okay, so we've got to get over there. So once we break tether, you'll see the blue line at the top of his little tank start going down slowly as he's using oxygen. So as long as we get back on an oxygen supply before that runs out, we should be fine. Run, little astronaut, run. Whee! And this crash vehicle has an oxygenator, so he's tethered up there. Good to go. Okay, so... Uh, let's... So left trigger puts it in cursor mode. Then you can mouse over... Th oh, mouse over. Cursor over things and pick it up. So you can get the uh, terrain tool. Can we do anything with this thing? Or is it just a little marker to tell us we had to come here? Probably just a little marker. That's alright. Okay, so... X to equip the terrain tool that we just picked up. Okay, so... We've got the little... Remove terrain. Okay, let's... And you can see the little symbol above... The terrain tool. And that's what he's actually picking up with those purple, uh, not purple, the grey. And he's got a full stack, and if you saw that, he's now got it in his backpack. And so that, that uh, resource looks like that, which matches the little icon. And I'm pretty sure if you go over trees and things, it changes, but maybe not for this one. Might be just telling us we need to mine that. So, print a tether bundle from your backpack. Okay, so X to put the gun away. And B brings up the backpack. And then basically you're in cursor mode. So this is our little 3D printer thing down the bottom. This is what you put in. This is what you're going to get out. Uh, the left and right arrows to basically cycle through what you're going to print. We want the tether bundle, which is this one. So we hit the green button. And it'll use that resource up and print us some tether bundles. Okay, close backpack. Alright, so we've got to get over there so we can get off the planet. Or get back into orbit. So build a tether line to the green beacon. So let's get out here. Oops, out of range. Drop a tether. And the tethers you drop have just slightly more range than these backpacks, so... If you're just out of range and drop one, it'll be good. If you go too far, it won't actually connect back up. <laughs> this is good. So I'll pop one over here just so we've got one to work with. So gather resin from the deposits to print canisters. Um, I'm not sure... What that little icon means. Okay, so we need our mining tool. Okay, so you can see over this one, it's got the same icon as before over the little arrow for us to mine. And that's a different one. And this one's different again. So when you go over the different things you can actually suck up, they have different things. Plant matter is one of them as well, but we haven't got there yet. So, let's suck this one up. Get some resource in our backpack. Oops. I want to do it without making a massive crater that we'll fall into later. So, a bit gentle on the trigger because this is actually the environment uh, terrain tool as well. For, and you can shape the terrain up and down. Look, let's not get too much of this. Back on our tether, our oxygen bar at the top of the tank refills, and we're good to go. Okay, so, open the backpack and print a canister. So we open the backpack, it's left and right through here, okay, it tells us on the right there, this is the canister. It's going to use one stack of the yellows we just got. Let's hit the green go button. 
Out comes a canister. Okay. So, build a ramp to the shuttle pad. Let's close our backpack. Okay, the ramp at the front there is broken, but we got to get up top. We equip the terrain tool. And now when we suck up the ground and use the terrain tool on just the dirt, because we've got a canister, it actually fills up. And you can see there the little white bar going around the canister. Let's try and get a the camera in a good spot. So you can see the white bar going around counterclockwise as we fill up that canister. But we don't need a full canister. Now if you don't have the canister, you don't actually hold on to that dirt. You just... I guess it just disappears. So... Left button to cycle the modes. So the pink arrow there says go down. So we're digging down. If we hit it again, it goes up. So we're building up. And this one, I believe, is flattened, but I haven't used it yet. So let's just build up. So some of the stuff in our little canister we can dump out here. And we want to basically build up to the ramp so we can get up there. Good as gold. Let's put that away. Small spacecraft. Left trigger to enable the cursor. So then we, over the spacecraft, we get Y to enter. Let's enter. Okay, attempt to launch the space shuttle. Either of the buttons to launch. We need a thruster. Thought that was going a little too simply. Exit the shuttle. Out we pop. Now we need to examine the solid fuel thruster in your catalog. So let's open the research catalog. That is tethers. Oops. That's a small printer. That's a canister. Small generator. Okay, right button tabs over. And this is our solid fuel thruster. Cost is 500 bytes though, requires aluminium and ammonium. Okay, close out of there. Find research samples to earn bytes. Okay, let's head to the icon over here. Dropping some tethers as we go. Oh, what happened there? Didn't drop our tether. And if we run out of tethers, we just build a new stack. It's not a problem. Okay, so hold Y to scan the research samples. 188. There's another one over here. Another one over here. That's over 500, so we are golden. Solid fuel thruster can now be unlocked from our catalog. Let's head back. And see, as you leave the tethers, he has his own little tether that leaves the line, but again, it just disappears off there when he gets too far away. So it's all about managing his oxygen at this stage so he doesn't die. Okay, 500 bytes. We've got 535. Let's hit the green button. Okay, that's unlocked it. Hasn't actually built it. We've got to go and get the bits to build it. So we need to print a small printer from our backpack. So open the backpack. Left and right through the designs. What have we got? Small printer. Um, yep. So we had a second stack of those greys already. Cool. Deploy the small printer. So we right trigger to pick it up out of our backpack. We pretty much just... Plop it down where we need it. Close backpack. Left trigger to go to cursor mode. Examine the small printer's ingredient holograms. Yep, so that's these two. So we need ammonium and aluminium. Well, we knew that from the uh, schematic anyway from before, but that's alright. So we right trigger the small printer. And then it's on the backpack, so right trigger again. That stores it back in the backpack slot. 
Now, the interesting thing with the backpack is you've got your eight slots here. That's our small printer. So you basically get a visual representation, even when he's walking around, of what he's carrying. You don't have to necessarily open the backpack because uh, it all looks a bit different. So it's just an interesting, uh, a nice touch. Actually, let's uh, can we put a tether here. Too far away. Okay, there we go. There's a big hole there that I want to avoid, so we'll tether out this way towards the next checkpoint. Oh, we've got to print tethers. So let's come back into range. Open our backpack. Our tether bundle. We are out of goodies, so we need that compound. If in doubt, just put the cursor over it, which is our grey materials which there's some just over here so we'll just duck out of tether range quickly so we got plenty of oxygen to keep us going for a little while okay let's get back on the air tether up Alright, open our backpack again. Now, tether bundle. Yes, we can. Okay, so we've 3D printed that. Tell you what, he makes things look easy when you're running around with a 3D printer strapped to your back. Now, the quickest way out here is going to be a straight line if we can, so let's just do that. Drop our tethers as we go. Through the little forest area. Or trees, whatever they are. Okay, so. Let's drop another tether there so we can work. Um, gather aluminium from deposits. So grab our tool out again. And you can see it's got the different icon again over the cursor because that's different material we're gathering. Just hoover these up real quick. Again, I'm trying to actually do it without... destroying too much of the landscape and making a massive crater. Okay, so we need to gather laterite from deposits to make aluminium. So we've got more over here. Let's actually head a bit central here. Plop down a tether. Because this base over here, I'd say, is going to be somewhere we need to go. So we may as well tether somewhat close to it. Two birds with one stone and all that. And again, you can see the icons change there for a different material. And we'll suck up a bit of this. Let's grab a little bit more because we're greedy. And we may need it later, not sure, but... That'll do us. Okay, X to put away the tool. Restore power to the smelting furnace. Okay, so this is the smelting furnace. And we tether to our building, so that's worked out well because we come right off one tether and onto the building. Okay, so... Cable socket. Okay, okay, okay. Left trigger to enable the cursor mode. Right trigger to grab it. Move it over there. Red to red. Okay, lit up yellow. I'd say we've got power. Now, the smelter, we need to place laterite on the smelting furnace. Okay, so into our backpack. What do we got here? This one is... Which one's laterite? 
Um, do, 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 do. It's a great question. Um, is there a way we can find out which one's which? Um, we'll try this one, I guess. Oh, whoops. Hit the button. Stop. Okay, so it would be appear that the A button prints what you want printed. Whereas you need to use the right trigger to pick up. So is that the right one? Um, how do we... Oops, that's the wrong button. Right trigger drops a... Uh, um, is there a way we can look at that? Okay, left trigger turns his light on. Our left button, sorry, turns his light on. That's an emote. Okay, place the laterite. I'm going to suggest that's not the laterite. The latter, laterite. If I can say it. Try this one. Okay, so that's the right one because it's turned on. Let's close our backpack. And you can see here our little stack goes down as it's working. And the stack there builds up. So we want to print a small generator from our backpack. So let's come over here where we've got some room. Print a small generator. And we're going to need some more of the greys to print a small generator. Which we just accidentally wasted when we bumped the A button and printed the um, new stack of tethers. But that's alright. We left more back here. Let's get the tool out. Start mining away. Big stack over here we'll grab. Mine. Okay, I think we got enough. I think that's what the beep means. Let's put the tool away. Run back. Wee. Go, little astronaut. Okay. B to open the backpack. Small generator. Go. Okay, so we grab that out of here. Deploy it. Um, connect the generator to the smelting furnace. Okay, so left trigger for cursor mode. Grab the power. Plug it in. And gather organic flora to power the generator. Okay, so that's plants. Okay, so we've got organic. Let's put that away. Into the backpack. Organic, grab it, throw it there. Okay, so the... I think that thing's actually finished before we... Did that, anyway. But the actual... Uh, blueprint silhouette of where you place these things actually matches the... Uh, same shape, the difference in shape you'll see in your backpack. So, while that didn't give us the name before of the one we had to place there when we cursed it over it, if we'd paid a bit more attention. Well, and now it does give us the name. Okay, that's interesting. Must just be an issue with that uh, little tutorial. Oops, we don't want to pick that up. Unless we can put it... Okay, so we want to grab the aluminium. Grab that. Uh, let's stick it in the backpack. Okay, so... My tether is there. That we just picked up. Interesting. So print a solid fuel thruster from the small printer. Okay, so our small printer we picked up just before. Let's plop that down here. Close the backpack again. We're going to need left cursor. Grab some power. So these all have multiple power, so... These little ones have one in and one out. The bigger ones have multiple, so you can daisy chain all these devices together. Okay, so we examine that to bring out the control panel. 
Solid fuel thruster, ammonium and aluminium. We've got one of each. One of one, one of one. Let's get printing. Did that actually print when I hit that? There we go. And again, you can see from the backpack what we've got left. We've got an organic in the green and one of the yellows and our canister of dirt. Boop, boop, boo. Ah, there's more of the grey stuff over here. But we don't need it. So we didn't have to run all the way back. We needed to just look a little bit further this way, but that's alright. And again, you can see this actually depleting. So you can tell just from looking at it roughly how much it's got left because of where it started and how it's shrinking as it prints out the thing below. The light's pretty decent, so yeah. Get the light on. He's still got his little headlights on his helmet, but you can have your big area light on. Not sure if that's chewing power or what it's doing, but anyway. Let's pick this up. And let's shove it in his backpack. Um, okay. Good as gold. Return to the shuttle pad with the solid fuel thruster. We can do that. And we got a tether line all the way. Up a doo. Up and over. Through the organic material. Some stars in the sky. And we've depleted a lot of that field there. But again, uh, this being the tutorial, I'm not sure if everywhere you land, I'd assume everywhere you land has the basic resources at least. Um, so you can build the basics and then work from there, but every area is probably not going to have everything you want, so you have to pick a decent spot. So unpack the solid fuel thruster. Let's pick it up. Okay, that's where it mounts under there. Right trigger to select that in there. Now we put our cursor over it. We've got to actually unpack that because it's boxed up. So we select it with the cursor. While in cursor mode, hold Y to unpack it. And we've got a thruster. Fantastic. Y to enter our spacecraft. Let's see if we have more luck this time. And we have a liftoff. Fantastic. Loading the solar system. And oh, I guess that's the end of the tutorial. Cool. So, that is Astroneer, as the screen says. That's the basic tutorial. Um, it looks like one of those games that has the... Uh, Pretty simple basic elements, but then it just expands in complexity as you go. But you can tell graphically just from looking at the guy, you know, what you're carrying and what you require. And there's a lot of icons there to help you with things that pop up. So uh, once you learn the basics, it should be pretty straightforward. It's just going to be a matter of finding the right materials that you want. And yeah, should be pretty decent. So we'll probably be playing a little bit more of this. That was just a quick look at the tutorial. And yeah, that's about it for this one. So if you like this one, you can follow us live on twitch.tv slash mh76gaming. To be notified before the live streams, just follow the Twitter at mh76gaming. And 1080p uh, uploads of the streams to YouTube after each one. Just search mh76gaming there, and they're sorted into playlists by game to make it easy to find what you're looking for. Uh, that's it for this one. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you for some more Astroneer in the future. See ya.